I love your trips, Uncle David, especially in this cool car. Yeah, me too. I always enjoy your trips very much. So where are we going today? Oh yes, we're going to St. Mina's Monastery in Mariot. Who's St. Mina? I haven't heard about him before. Me neither. Do you have any pictures of him, Uncle David? Yes, Mark. Uh, here, on the front cover of this book. I was reading it yesterday. Wow, the artwork in this picture is awesome. But why is St. Mina wearing these clothes? And why is he lifting his hands up like that? This used to be the uniform of soldiers working in the Roman army. St. Mina was a soldier for three years. Also, the artist has drawn St. Mina's hands towards heaven, like this, to show that he's always praying for us. People call St. Mina the wonder worker because he performs so many miracles. Can he perform miracles for anybody? Yes, Hannah. He always comes to the rescue of anyone asking for his intercession. Jesus listens to St. Mina's prayers, as St. Mina bore lots of suffering for Jesus' name. Miracles? Can St. Mina perform a miracle to make me win the chess championships and become the world's greatest star? Can he make me the richest man on earth? But Mark, I haven't seen you play chess in ages. The championship competition is only in a month's time. You really will need a miracle to win it. Miracles happen when it's God's will and when he can see that we really need them. Remember kids, when God sees us doing our very best, he does the rest and multiplies our efforts, just as he did in the miracle of the feeding of the 5,000. Oh yes, I know that miracle. Jesus fed 5,000 people with only five loaves and two fish. Exactly, Hannah. When the boy brought all he could, even though it was very little, God blessed it abundantly. Uncle David, do you mean that if I work hard and practice a lot, God can make me win? Yes, Mark, precisely. Oh, what's happening, Uncle David? What's happening? Don't worry, kids. Uh, don't worry, it's just the car. It's stopped working. <sighs> There's no signal. Oh no, are you saying the car has stopped in the middle of the desert? There's no food, no water, not even signal to ask for help. Nothing. What are we going to do? I'll tell you what, kids. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for looking after us all the time and everywhere we go. Please send us help in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hannah and Mark, can you please pray? Please, Lord, we know that with you nothing is impossible. Please work a miracle with us now. Amen. Dear God, Please send your saints to help us. Amen. Make us worthy to pray thankfully. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Huh? Look, Uncle David, there's someone coming towards us. Oh yes, Mark, I also see camels coming towards us. You're actually right. It's a man with three camels. Hello! I am here to help you. I've got my camels with me to take you to the monastery. I'll tow your car to one camel, and you can ride on the other two. Oh wow, yes please. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much.
We've arrived. Here is the monastery. Wow, that was quick. Yeah, that felt like a few seconds. Thank you very much. You came to our rescue at just the right time. Can I know your name, please? Of course. My name is Mina. Thank you for saving us. And by the way, we really liked riding on your camels. It was my pleasure. I hope you enjoy your trip. See you soon. Oh, it's boiling, Uncle David. Please, can you pass me my bag so I can put some sun cream on? Yes,、yeah, sure. We actually all better put on some sunscreen. Otherwise, we'll be sunburned not before long. Uncle David, Uncle David, wasn't that man walking with his camels that way just a few seconds ago? They seem to have completely disappeared. Oh yes, actually, where did they go? That's really strange. Um. Anyway, Mark, Hannah, we better just enter the monastery now. I've got a feeling we'll all get a heat stroke from that roasting sun. You're right, Uncle David. Let us go into the monastery. Wow, this monastery is so beautiful. Uncle David, please, can you show us around? Wait, kids.、Uh, I'm a bit tired. Can we have a little rest? Fine. Okay, Uncle David, but not for too long. We really want you to show us round the monastery. Yeah, okay, but I, I think I need a little, a little nap. What was that noise? Shh! It's Uncle David snoring. Why is he snoring so loudly? He must be very tired. Mark, do you have earplugs in your bag? <laughs> no, but wait! Look what I found. Our magical glasses. I forgot we had these. Why don't we go to the church and put them on? Yes, that's a great idea. It'll even give Uncle David some time to nap while we're gone. Let's put our magical glasses on together on the count of three. One, two, three. Hello again, Hannah and Mark. Welcome to my monastery. Hi, Saint Mina. Hang on one second. You look very familiar. The man we met today, the one with the camels. Are you him? Yes, it was me, Hannah. No way! Wow! God sent Saint Mina to rescue us. I know. I can't believe it either. Thank you very much, Saint Mina. That was very kind of you to help us. Oh, I can't wait to know more about you. Yes, please. Could you tell us your story? Of course. I was born to faithful Christian parents. My father was a governor, and his name was Eudoxius, and my mother was called Euphemia. My father was sent by the emperor to Africa. Unfortunately, my parents weren't able to have any children for a while. Oh, were they upset about not having any children? Yes, but do you know what we do when we feel upset about something? We pray. Exactly, Mark. And that's just what my mum Euphemia did. It was Saint Mary's feast that day, and my mother was at church. She saw lots of children wearing beautiful clothes, and wished she too could have a child. So, my mother stood in front of Saint Mary's icon and prayed to God with all her heart, asking Him for a child. Then, something strange but amazing happened. Saint Mary, please pray for me and Afflucius, that God may have mercy on us and grant us a child. I'm your daughter, Euphemia, and you are a merciful mother to us all. I long to be a mother. Please, please. 
Amen. Amen. Where's this voice coming from? Amen. Sir Mary, it's you. You're saying Amen from your icon. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Amen, Hannah and Mark means so be it, or it is so. Saint Mary was reassuring Euphemia that her prayers have been answered and that she would bear a child, and indeed she gave birth to me. My parents named me Mina, from the word Amen, which Saint Mary said to my mother. Wow! What a beautiful story! It definitely is. But when I was only eleven years old, my father departed to heaven. Just three years later, my mother departed too. I'm so sorry to hear that, Saint Mina. What did you do then? Were you okay? God was always with me. I devoted my life to fasting, praying, and living a Christian life. Since I was loved by many, I was placed in my father's position in service. I had an extremely high position in the army, but even with all my responsibilities, I never neglected my worship. Did you remain in the army for long? No, my dear Hannah. At that time, the two emperors, Diocletian and Maximianus, ordered everyone to worship idols. But because many Christians refused to obey the emperors, they were martyred in the name of the one true Lord Jesus Christ. I quit the army. Distributed all my wealth to the poor and needy, and went to live in the desert. You gave literally everything you had to the poor and the needy. You even went to live in the desert. But life in the desert is so hard, isn't it? There is no water, no food, not even a place to live in to protect you from dangerous animals. That's true, Mark. But remember the verse. The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. I wanted to enjoy living with God alone, in pure worship, through prayers and fasting, day and night. I was sure that God would protect and guide me always. Wow, you are very brave, Saint Mina. I can tell that you trusted in the Lord so much. How long did you stay in the desert? I lived there for five years, until. I saw a vision. A vision. Mina, go to the city and confess the name of the one and only true God, Jesus Christ, in front of the emperor. You will receive three heavenly crowns, which will remain forever: one for your virginity, the second for your monasticism, and the third for your martyrdom. The glory you will receive in heaven will be a thousandfold of anything that you would have received on earth. The Lord is with you. Your Highness, Emperor Diocletian, we found this man declaring proudly that he is a Christian in front of everyone, which is against your commandment, Your Highness. Is that right, Emperor Diocletian? I am Christian. I am not scared of anything, and I will stand up for my faith because the Lord Jesus Christ is with me. Your Excellency, this man Mina is a very courageous soldier in your army, and the son of Eudoxius, the governor. Ah, Mina, our brave army soldier. Fine. Look, Mina, I will forgive you for what you said, and give you an even higher position in my army. I will even reward you with as much money as you desire, but only if you worship these idols in front of me now. I will never worship idols. I will always and forever worship only my true God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Do you dare disobey me? I will make you regret what you just said, Mina. Guards, put him in the dungeon. If he still refuses to worship idols, torture him, flog him with oxtails, hang him on the hinbazine, tear his flesh with sharp iron nails, and rub his wounds with hair cloth. Take him now. Please strengthen me, Jesus. Feeling like giving up yet, Mina? No matter what you do, 
I will never deny my Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. How did you bear all these sufferings? God strengthened me, Mark. My Lord, Jesus Christ, save me! Mina, blessed are you, my son Mina, because you bore all these sufferings for my name's sake. Now you will be healed, but tomorrow the Emperor will behead you and you will be with me in heaven. You will gain three heavenly crowns and your name will be great among the martyrs. Wow, you saw Jesus! Well, you definitely deserved it after all the pain you endured. That's incredible! What happened the next day? Exactly as Jesus told me, the next day I was beheaded and I received the crown of martyrdom. The emperor ordered my body to be thrown in a fire. However, God did not allow the fire to burn or harm my body at all, even though my body was in the fire for three whole days. Later on, some Christians took my body and buried it. So when do we celebrate your Feast of Martyrdom, St. Mina? On the 15th of Hatur. We will definitely make sure to remember that. And always remember Mark and Hannah to stand up for your faith and be strong. Thank you very much, St. Mina. We really learnt a lot from you. Please pray for us, especially for me, St. Mina, so I can win the chess championships. I will have to practice a lot though, probably 24-7. Don't worry Mark, just give it your best effort. I'll be praying for you. I'll have faith in you and Hannah. Goodbye Hannah and Mark. Goodbye. Goodbye. Quick, or Uncle David might be worried that we're gone. Hannah, Mark, where were you? Abuna Michael and I were just looking for you. Sorry Uncle David, we just wanted to explore the church a bit. Did you have a nice nap Uncle David? Yes, thank you Mark, and it was very much needed. Abuna kindly joined us now to talk to you all about St Mina and answer any questions you have. Hello Abuna. Hi Abuna, we really love St Mina and we learn all about him today. Um, you did? How? When? Hello, Hannah and Mark. Welcome to the Monastery of St. Mina in Mariut. My name is Abuna Michael. Let's get started then. I will take you on a tour around the monastery to tell you about its history and about St. Mina. Yes, please, Abuna. We would love that. Abuna? Why are there two animals with St. Mina in the icon? Well, that's because there are some interesting stories about St. Mina with camels and others with marine beasts. Hannah, do you want me to tell them to you? Yes, yes please, please, Abuna. All right then. A few years after St. Mina's martyrdom, barbarians came to attack the city of Marriott. Athanasius, the army commander, was asked to take the soldiers to defend the area. Since he used to be a close friend of St. Mina while they were together in the army, he knew of the amazing miracles God performed through St. Mina. So, he decided to take the body of the saint along with him. While sailing with St. Mina's body on the boat, fierce marine beasts attacked them. We've been asked to go and fight the wild barbarians in Marriott. We will secretly take the body of St. Mina the Martyr with us. I am sure God will give us victory with St. Mina's intercession and blessing. Quick, put the box on the boat. Let's go. Don't worry, my friends. God is with us. Saint Mina. 
please help us. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thank you. Thank you, Saint Mina. Fire came out of Saint Mina's body and scared the beast away. Wow, that's impressive. Please carry on, Abuna. I can't wait to hear the rest of the story. With the intercessions of Saint Mina, Athanasius and all the other soldiers were victorious. On their way back, they put Saint Mina's body on a camel. But the camel refused to get up and go with the soldiers, even though they tried several times. So they loaded the saint's body on another stronger camel, but it didn't want to move either. When this kept happening, Athanasius understood it was the Lord's will for the body of Saint Mina to stay in Mariot. So, did they bury the body of Saint Mina there then? Yes, Mark. However, years after the burial of Saint Mina, no one actually knew where Saint Mina's body was buried. But God allowed for its place to be revealed to people so they could be healed of their diseases. How did God reveal its place, Abuna? Well, once there was a lame boy who lived in a village near the place where Saint Mina was buried. The lame boy was crawling out of his village when suddenly he saw a bright light from a distance coming from the place where Saint Mina's body was. He kept crawling and crawling towards the light until he finally arrived. But when he did, he was so tired that he fell asleep. He woke up to his mum screaming in his face because they were worried about him. Surprisingly, he jumped away from her. <laughs> the lame boy was healed. He told everyone that this miracle had to do with the light coming from the saint's tomb. So many people came for healing and blessings. What an amazing story. But how did people find out that the blessings from the water and sand were actually because St. Mina was buried under them? Well, there was once a shepherd who used to bring his sheep to the area. When he discovered that the sand and water around the tomb healed his sick sheep, he spread the news everywhere. Then one day, the leprous daughter of the Emperor of Constantinople heard this news. Thus, she decided to visit the tomb and sleep that night there. In a dream, Saint Mina appeared to her, asking her to dig and find his body underneath. And to everyone's amazement, when she woke up, she was completely healed from her leprosy. She immediately did exactly what Saint Mina asked her to do and told everyone the truth behind the blessed sand and water. Saint Mina's body was actually buried underneath. Emperor must have been overjoyed that his daughter was healed. Yes, Hannah. The Emperor built even a church in that place and kept Saint Mina's body in it. Pope Carolus VI built this monastery in Mariot and kept the body of his patron Saint Mina in it in 1959. That's absolutely wonderful! There are lots of stories about Saint Mina and the camels. Abuna, should I tell you about our story with St. Mina and his camels? Yes, go ahead. Uh, Hannah, I think you're probably feeling hungry now. Oh, yes, Mark, exactly. Thank you very much, Abuna, for telling us about the history of the monastery. Thank you, Thank Abuna. You, Abuna. My pleasure, Hannah and Mark. Come again to visit the monastery. Okay, okay Abuna, Abuna, we, we will. will. So, Hannah, are you going to help me practice for the chess championships? I need to practice a lot. The championship is only in a few weeks ahead. Want to have a go at trying to beat me? Challenge accepted, but I don't think you'll win so easily. You haven't played in a long time. I will do my best and God will do the rest. That's what Saint Mina the Wonder Worker said, Hannah. Remember, he's praying for me. Change the topic. Um, um, Uncle David, have you forgotten where you parked the car? Why are you so deep in thought? Hang on a second, kids. I'm so confused. Mark, did you say Saint Mina said that he would pray for you? And, wait, how did the man with the camels even know that we were going to Saint Mina's monastery? And Hannah, 
What did you mean when you told Abuna that we had our own story with Saint Mean and the camels? Come on, Mark, try to catch me. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Strange, strange times.